Good morning. Thank you for joining us here on the web. It is Tuesday, June 5th. Remember, you can always get your Storm Track 9 forecast as well anytime here online. Minutes ago, Chattanooga police released surveillance pictures from a bank heist on Highway 58. The armed robbery happened around 930 yesterday morning at the SunTrust location. This is the suspect that investigators are still searching for this hour. You can see the man holding a gun, wearing an allergy mask and demanding money from the teller. The suspect got off with an undetermined amount of cash. If you know anything about the bank robbery, you are asked to call 911. We have a crew in place this morning as an accused double murder suspect prepares to make his first court appearance. A Whitfield County judge will handle Sonny Neal's bond hearing today. And according to the GBI, Neal has requested a lawyer. We were there as officers arrested him and charged him in the brutal stabbing and beating deaths of Jessica Neal and her grandfather, Donald Shedd. Depend on us to let you know what happens in court. A Grundy County family is looking for answers after a bullet comes close to killing a teenager. Someone shot a gun through Brenda Gowen's window Sunday night and bullet fragments hit her grandson Timmy in the head. He's going to be okay, but investigators told his family they think someone targeted the 17-year-old. The bullet was powerful enough to go through the window, hit Timmy, and go through the TV. Fragments went to the back of the house, out and into a shed. Grundy County Sheriff Brent Myers says they have no suspects. Call 911 if you have any information in the case. An Ottawa man says serial killer Ted Bundy inspired him to beat a prostitute with a hammer. Chattanooga police say Cynthia Pittman, a known prostitute, told them she was picked up in Highland Park by a man in a red Chevy. Officers say he drove her to a nearby restaurant, tried to rob her, then beat her with a hammer. She escaped and called for help. That man, 23-year-old Tyler Benson, is charged with assault, robbery, and soliciting. He confessed, adding that he has attacked other prostitutes because it makes him feel powerful and says he is emulating serial killer Ted Bundy. Would you consider this guy dangerous? Yes. Dangerous to a certain point where, you know, he wouldn't mess with a guy. He wouldn't fight a guy, but, you know, he'd take advantage of a woman. He'll take advantage of mostly just prostitutes. Benson is jailed on an $80,000 bond. One worker is recovering from smoke inhalation following a fire at a business in Ottawa. Hamilton County EMS spokesperson Amy Maxwell says employees at Hawker Power Source reported the fire around 9 p.m. Monday night. Tri-community volunteer firefighters saw heavy smoke coming from the warehouse. Investigators say employees were building a large battery when it somehow caught fire. Hawker Power Source builds large batteries for commercial trucks. A local nonprofit's taking on the issue of gang violence in Chattanooga. Today, Hope for the Inner City's kicking off its stop with our Stop the Violence campaign with a cookout. This is video from a breakfast and summit that the group held recently. They're also presenting their summer leadership camps. The group says the camps are designed to keep young people out of trouble and away from gangs. The summer camps open to kids ages 6 to 18. The cookout continues until 8 o'clock this evening in the 1000 block of Roanoke Avenue. We thank you for joining us for your morning headlines. Remember, you can always get a look at the day's top stories right here at newschannel9.com.